I've had a pair of these microphones for nearly 30 years now, but I haven't been able to use them. They're very nice microphones. They're a classic Shure design from the 60s or 70s. They're a Shure Unidyne 3, which I think is an ancestor of today's SM57. Now, the reason I haven't been able to use them is that they have this connector on the back. It's a Amphenol MC3F which is, as you can see, different from the modern XLR that you'd expect on a microphone. It has exactly the same signals. It has a hot, a cold, and an earth, but I need to make an adapter. Now, the trouble is, the MC3F apparently isn't still in manufacture. If it is, it must be very expensive because everybody wants to charge an absolute fortune for an adapter cable. And I think I can do better than that. So this is the story of my making a fake MC3M connector to connect to my Shure Unidyne 3. First thing I did was measure the size of the pin uh, and also compare it with the size of the pins on an XLR plug. And I actually found that it's only about 0.1 of a millimetre smaller than this size of crimpon cable termination. You can buy great kits of crimpon cable terminations, and I went through mine and found the one that fitted. It just gently presses into the hole, doesn't require too much force, just like you would expect from the pin on an XLR or similar. So what I did was... I got three of those. I've actually used a piece of Ethernet cable here because I'm a cheapskate, but if I were doing it properly, I would use a piece of balanced audio cable. Um, obviously, it's a twisted pair, and the rest have just all gone to earth. And I can just put three of those on the ends of the cables, put the earth in, put the cold in, and put the hot in. And if I can get it in there... There we go. And as if by magic, I have a microphone that's connected to a balanced uh, cable. Now, the trouble with this is it's all very well, but it doesn't look very nice. I need a cover for it. The next thing I did, I went into OpenSCAD and I designed a 3D printed hood for the cable. Gently push that through the hole, like so. I have a cable tie on there as strain relief on the end of the outer insulation. I'll just reconnect it. Press the three in. I designed it to be a tight fit. It's got the, uh, the key there the keyway. I designed it to be a tight fit so that it's a, a, a press fit. Uh, you could probably design it such that another cable tie could fit it on but I found this was good enough. So if I push that into place that's fairly securely on. So you make sure all the wires are carefully stowed in the lower part of the connector hood and then you slide the upper part on. It's held under that tab and at this end is a space for a cable tie. So if I put the cable tie on A bit of fiddling, no doubt. That is now held pretty securely. I'll just clip off the end of the cable tie. And there we have it. That's an MC3M connector on a vintage Shure Unidyne 3 without breaking the bank. I've put all the files for the 3D printed part of this project in my GitHub repository. You will find the link below this video. I don't have a sponsor for my videos, but as before, I'd like to take a moment to talk about something else I'm involved with. I'm a board member of a small non-profit called TransRescue. We exist to help trans people like me escape dangerous and dodgy places around the world. I'd like you to take a look at our website and see what we do, and if you can, help us to continue our work. Thanks very much, and thank you for watching this video.